If you could take Harriet Tubman to Grenada Ooh. and Brooklyn, Ooh. where's the first place you take her and what are y'all talking about? Listen. <laughs> For those, you guys can't see this, but she just uh, scratched her eyebrow, which means she's about to get into the tea. <laughs> Listen, all right. So if we are taking Harriet Tubman to Grenada, first thing we're doing is probably going to the beach. We're going to go to that good old Grand Anse, and we're going to replenish Harriet, okay? Because she put in work. And she deserves, she deserves to lay out and be loved on. She deserves, she yeah. deserves a frozen drink in one hand. She mm. deserves a foot massage. <laughs> if anyone deserves a, a foot, foot massage, massage, it is great Mother Harriet. Oh my goodness. And we're just going to take care of her. And I think that she would value, you know, the people of Grenada and, and their kindness and their goodness. One of the things that I just loved about her legacy was like after she was the Harriet that everybody knows like she settled um up in uh I can't remember maybe Albany New York or something and literally like opened a home to like help the elderly and I'm like she never stopped never stopped you know to her last breath now Brooklyn is a different story <laughs> <laughs> You can listen to the rest of this episode and subscribe to Trials to Triumphs wherever you listen to podcasts.